I want to introduce to you a special guest, William Chapman, who has worked for a number of years with uh, then Prime Minister Tony Blair in number 10 as a secretary for Crown Appointments. Well, you love to have that kind of a job, <laughs> right? Among other people he appointed or helped appoint was uh, present Archbishop of Canterbury, Rowan Williams. Um, you get applause for that one. <laughs> um, and he works now as a policy director for the Blair Foundation. Uh, significantly for us, over the past six months, he's, he has worked intensively with us on developing this course. And he has also brought not only himself, but also a greeting with himself. William. Thanks, Miroslav, and uh, hello to all of you, and it's very good to be here. I'm delighted we've reached this point after months of intensive preparation, as Miroslav has said. It feels good to be at this point, and I'm really looking forward to the uh, next uh, three months. Um, Tony Blair and all of us in the Foundation are really anticipating this course very keenly and what might come out of it. We think it's unique that the combination of one of the world's premier universities with clearly some of the world's premier students gathered, gathered in this room, uh, along with um, a statesman of, of, of global stature who, perhaps unlike any other leading politician, has, has demonstrated his commitment to the issues of faith and, and wants to uh, devote a large part of the rest of his working life to making the argument for faith, for exploring its ramifications in, in the world and how it interacts with the forces of globalization and, and politics. As you know, we live in a very fragile world, uh, a world at risk, and I think Tony really hopes that this course will contribute something to finding solutions for some of the problems and some of the issues that beset the world. I think he really hopes it will achieve some practical outcomes which can be taken up by other universities, by politicians, by business leaders, by opinion formers around the world, and can actually feed in then to how people think about the problems facing them. So we're really looking forward to working with you over the next three months on this course, and we really hope that it will achieve something good something good which can be fed out and taken up by other people. So thank you for taking part in it. And now enough from me, and I will let Tony speak in his own words. Hello, and welcome to the first of the sessions of this Faith and Globalization course, which Yale and my Faith Foundation have created. I'm delighted to be collaborating with Yale on this. You have some of the best teachers in the world, and you, the students, are among the finest students in the world. So I'm really looking forward to working with you over the coming months, and I'm only sorry I can't be with you today. But from what I saw when I was Prime Minister, I was increasingly convinced that the 21st century would be defined by the interaction of the forces of faith and the forces of globalisation. Since I left office, that conviction has continued to grow. Globalisation is throwing people closer together than ever before, through travel, communications, through economic forces and migration. And billions of those people are motivated by their religious faith, whatever that may be, in their beliefs, their values and their actions. So the crucial question to my mind is this. In our increasingly crowded and interactive world, can the different faiths help to bring people together or is faith destined to deepen the divisions between them? Can the faiths encourage a search for common values? And can the values of faith bring their influence to bear more compellingly on the dynamics of globalisation, ensuring that it works more completely for the common good? These are the questions. In short, can the faiths engage more proactively and more constructively in responding to the challenges of globalisation? And if so, then how? So it's my hope for the course that it will lead to answers to those questions, 
and also to practical outcomes which will have an influence on the dynamics which shape our world. I've got no illusions that this will be easy, but I am profoundly convinced of the value of making the attempt. So I'm incredibly grateful for all the hard work which Miroslav and Joel and many others have put into this course, and that I hope that as we explore these and other issues together, we will start to break new ground and help produce something exciting, which is of real worth for the future. And I trust that the course will help you as you think about your place in the world, your futures, and what we can all do to make the world a better, more peaceful place. Thank you.